Welcome to our daily devotional for January 15th, 2021. Our verse for the day comes to us from the Apostle Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. He was concerned about uh, all of the different influences that were working upon them at the time. And so hear his words from chapter 1, verse 11. So we keep on praying for you, asking our God to enable you to live a life worthy of his call. May he give you the power to accomplish all the good things that your faith prompts you to do. Like them in that day, for us today, there's all sorts of voices that want to lead you and I this way or at in this world that we live in. And in deciding which of those voices are true, which are honorable, which ones reflect the will of God for our lives, you and I, we've got choices to make. What voices are we going to listen to? You know, some of those voices that call for our attention, they come from inside, from ourselves, but some from the outside. But what they all have in common is that those voices strive to lead us in all sorts of directions. And we're warned about that. For example, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, it describes this human inclination that all of us have to follow our own desires and to seek out those who will tell you and I whatever we want to hear. This is out of control. It's rampant in the world around us today. And those voices that call for what runs counter to the greatest commandments and the fruits of the Spirit, those voices only serve to continue feeding the appetite of the thief that comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But if we ignore those voices that tell us things that run counter to the Holy Spirit, that, and, and, and instead solely follow what God has told you and I through Jesus Christ, then again, you and I, we are assured by God that we will live a life worthy of his call. And the name of our Lord Jesus will be honored because of the way we live, and we will be honored along with him. And again, as Paul said, this is all made possible because of the grace of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ. Now, our passage from the day includes that original scripture from Paul to the Thessalonians, but continues. And I'll be reading to you uh, verses 3 through 12 from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 3 through 12, out of the New Living Translation of God's Holy Word. Dear brothers and sisters, We can't help but thank God for you because your faith is flourishing and your love for one another is growing. We proudly tell God's other churches about your endurance and faithfulness in all the persecutions and hardships you are suffering. And God will use this persecution to show his justice and to make you worthy of his kingdom for which you are suffering. In his justice, his justice, he will pay back those who persecute you. And God will provide rest for you who are being persecuted and also for us when the Lord Jesus appears from heaven. He will come with his mighty angels in flaming fire, bringing judgment on those who don't know God and on those who refuse to obey the good news of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with eternal destruction, forever separated from the Lord and from his glorious power. When he comes on that day, he will receive glory from his holy people Praise from all who believe, and this includes you, for you believed what we told you about him. So we keep on praying for you, asking our God to enable you to live a life worthy of his call. May he give you the power to accomplish all the good things your faith prompts you to do. Then the name of our Lord Jesus will be honored because of the way you live, and you will be honored along with him. This is all made possible because of the grace of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. (laughs) Now, suggested additional readings along the theme of this morning's devotional uh, can be found in Acts chapter 26, uh, verses 12 through 20, and then also uh, the book of James, chapter 1, verses 19 through 27. Blessings to you from the Ion 